Okay, hi, this is Piotr Walczyn again. So this is our fourth episode, which will actually cover really the essence of Reflow. So how you can make your design responsive. Okay, so let me get started with going into my work uh, folder. And here I have a responsifying um, step of my tutorial. So as you can see here, uh, we have fully first laid out uh, design and then nicely styled. Now we are ready actually to start making it responsive. So we'll, it will adapt for different screen resolutions and different devices. Okay, so the way to go with it is by actually s sliding down this handle here and looking so looking for a place where my design breaks and this um, way this approach we call a uh, design first approach so instead of actually you know, like adding breakpoints at some common resolutions like 320 480 768 we do a different approach which we believe uh, can give you a little bit better results when you're uh, do, want to really be sort of a pixel perfect and give the user the best experience ever so the the approach here is scale down or scale up depends if you go mobile first or desktop first and start looking in your design where it starts breaking, where it doesn't look good anymore. So let's take a look at our design here. So while I scale down my screen, I can see that at some point, oh, there we go. Uh, here, they're responsifying the design. This third element here, it has broken into two lines. We don't want that. We want the title to be nicely displayed in a full line. So how do we uh, approach that? So we can uh, slide back to where it still was good and add a new breakpoint at this point. So there we go. We just added a breakpoint somewhere at uh, 994 pixels. So at this point, we can make that layout here, instead of having two columns in this main content area, we could uh, change it into a single column layout. So to do that, I can, uh, well, there are probably a couple of ways, but the easy really way to do it is just, let's say, select this first box. And you know, when we designed the layout, it was something around 48 pixels uh, percent wide. Well, uh, I want to make it actually 100% wide. There we go. So you can see it has actually, it spans the whole main content area and the box below has been reflowed into a new row. So we can apply the same technique for all um, other boxes. So let me select those uh, three guys there and let's apply 100% to those as well. We also need to fix for those two guys here, we need to set a left margin to zero so it nicely um, fits uh, the content area as well. And you can see now, okay, this is good and the rest looks okay. Now we can start going further down with the resolution and start looking for another place in our design where it will start breaking. And I think somewhere, oh, there we go. You can see here, I don't like, you know, the way it breaks this text here. This column is too narrow already. So let me just move a few pixels back where it was still okay. Yeah, I think here was okay, let's say. And here I can add again a new breakpoint. Here we go. And at this point, what I want to do. I want, uh, well, uh, well, I think we can make the, in, uh, at this resolution here, we can make this uh, content area, uh, again, 100% wide here. All right, so it nicely has reflowed uh, my uh, right column uh, to the bottom. And I think I should also fix the, mm, uh, the left margin, so it's nicely uh, touches here. Well, that's good. Maybe this main content area could as well. 
or maybe let's go a different way. So instead of having it 100%, let's make it fit in into uh, between the outer gutters. That will uh, uh, give us a little bit of a slack on the left end and right. Now we can also visually fix this uh, guy here. So let's make the same thing here. We can apply like this and maybe uh, this box with the bio we can make it something like this and this one we could apply similarly uh, something like that and of course put it on the top here so now it is nicely laid all right uh, in the right position and it nicely scales uh, as you can see and so on so now we have to go further on down scaling scaling oh we see there is something wrong with the title here ha huh. okay so we should you know go ahead do the same step here add new breakpoint apply this i think it should be a little bit you know hard there it should probably you know be fitting inside of uh, of here another thing here i can do i see that the grid at this resolution you know 12 columns grid is too much so at this breakpoint i can actually make it well something around eight columns that should be good enough and i can now visually edit and snap to eight columns which will be much better nice thing also to mention here is that when you uh, edit any any property on a certain uh, on a certain resolution you will see that this property has a different background color so you can see that at this resolution the size of my selected box so it, it's purple and the background of this property is also back, uh, purple so you can see this was edited and you can see the other way uh, as well so if i go back here oh yeah i can see that this box has changed also at this resolution if i would probably go in here select oh yeah i see this one is a as well uh, modified and it has multiple properties and so on so this is uh, really also a very nice visual way of seeing what was a change in that um, media query breakpoint okay so you can see and you can go further on uh, and start uh, applying this design first approach which allows us to um, really provide the best uh, user experience and really provide uh, really good layouts for any resolution not the fixed breakpoints okay so stay tuned for the last and that will be a fifth episode where we'll actually take that uh, design and using edge inspector will test it on different devices thank you very much and bye